forever. Dog. Hey guys, before we get started on today's episode, we just wanted to let you know about our brand new sponsor. It's betterhelp.com. You're going to love it. So what's standing between you and happiness? Is it you? Are your own feelings a roadblock preventing you from achieving your goals? I mean, have you even thought about talking to someone, but maybe you're uncertain or unsure where to start? BetterHelp.com online counseling is there for you. BetterHelp makes it easy to connect with a licensed professional counselor, caring professional specializing in the issue that you want to talk about. Depression, stress, and anxiety, trauma, grief, self-esteem, and other issues relevant to the show's <laughs> listener. Real Housewives. Connect with your counselor in a safe and private environment. Get help at your own time and at your own pace. You can schedule secure video and phone sessions, or you can text your therapist. All included worldwide, and you can start communicating in under 24 hours. Best of all, it's a truly affordable option, and for done listeners, you get 10% off of your first month. Just use the discount, done. If you've been wanting to talk and get some help, you can get started today. Go to betterhelp.com slash done. Simply fill out the questionnaire to help with them assess your needs and get matched with a counselor you'll love, one that you can always change if you don't love them. It's true. That's betterhelp.com slash done. And the promo code is done. Hi there. Hi, Beth. Hi, you guys. Welcome to Done. This is a podcast where we talk about things we're done with. We invite a guest to bring three things they're done with. We talk about them at length. And then Betsy and I kind of decide which thing they should be the most done with. It's true. And you know what, guys? Everyone is done with something. You just have to, you know, look inside yourself a little bit. And there's something there. How was your week there? My week was good. We just came off the holidays. Yeah, it feels a little crazy to be here right now, but honestly, feeling rested, you know? Feeling rested, but also got so tan. Like, ax- me? Only you can tell. No one else can tell. <laughs> like, I <laughs> I know. Dara's tan is a, a, a shade of pale, but I love it. And I appreciate you knowing that I got some color. Because mm-hmm. for me, this was like dangerous amount of like sun exposure. <laughs> and it seems not worth it at all until you acknowledge it. Like I thought I was going into work kind of like with like a deep tan. And they'd be like, whoa, Dara, like no sunscreen. And no one said anything. So oh, thank you. Shame on them, you know. Shame on them. But I was on a family vacation. We were in Florida for like a week and a half. And... I was terrible to everybody. Like, I was a true No, I was. Why? I don't know. I think it's just, like... What happened in there? I Like, I love everybody, but I think when you bring in a minivan into the situation... (laughs) Rented? Yeah, that was, like, our family car. Everyone in the minivan, everyone out. It, like, just creates, like, an anger inside you that volcanoes at times. Wow. And so I was, like, everyone's, like, Dara, you're crazy. You need to be on mood stabilizers. (laughs) And I was, like, fine. I'll go see a therapist and, like, I'll be on mood stabilizers. And then my dad was, like, no, no, you're not going on mood stabilizers. You're in your childbearing years. And, like, (laughs) so I'm kind of in this, like, phase of my life where, like, I think I need help. (laughs) I'm not allowed via the patriarchy to get it. You're not allowed. Well, no one's going to be happy. You know what I mean? I either (laughs) either I'm really moody or I can't have like kids forever. Wait, this may be a stupid question, but why can't you be on mood stabilizers if you. It's just what my dad said. I think (laughs) other people are like, you can totally do that. (laughs) Like, I think you have to talk to your doctor. But like my dad was just like hands down. Not making that claim. Yeah. So when you guys would go shopping or play games, were were you okay with everyone? No. Wow. Yelling at everyone. Did you ever drive the minivan and did you feel better? Maybe you're more of a driver, not a passenger. That's actually a really good point because my family was really mad at me for being a backseat driver because I was yelling from (laughs) this was like a huge fucking minivan. You were in the baby seat. Like you had to like yeah, in the baby seat in the back. Your legs can't fit, your feet get stuck. My feet were like chronically swollen this whole trip and have been recently. I don't know what to do about it. And then I Googled like swollen feet, which you shouldn't do. Me too. So, yeah, it was traumatic. But I had a great time and I got a little tan. Look, honey, if you got anything out of this, it's that you can't go on what you need to be on and that you got a nice tan. <laughs> I need to start meditation. Um, But Betsy, you, you had a really interesting holiday. I would say it was very interesting, yes. 
care to share, bitch? Well, um, if you guys are wondering why I look like I do now and why I sound like this, it's because I got engaged and I'm fully half off the market now. Half off? Half off. Like you have one leg in, one leg That's out. Still right. looking? <laughs> no. But I did get engaged. And honey, I didn't know what was happening. It was right when I opened my eyes in the cat skills where all engagement <laughs> should be. And that's that there. How many hikes did you go on? Um, Like two serious hikes and two serious like long walks. See, I thought you were going to get engaged on a hike. Well, the, the long hike was four and a half hours and me and Ryan almost killed each other and I almost shoved Ryan down a hill because it was so icy and all the other hikers were asking if we had um, crampons. Yeah. And we were like, yeah, like spikes. And we were like, no. Are we going to be okay? Because we have like serious hiking shoes. And they're like, I'd be careful. And we were like climbing up a mountain of ice. Jesus. And that was really hard. But coming down, we fell a thousand times. And because I thought the hike was only <laughs> going to be two hours and it was four and a half, I turned into the devil. And at one point I fell. My sticks go flying. Ryan came to help me. <laughs> I shoved him out of the way and started sprinting. And I go, I just want to end this as soon as possible. You're like running through the woods. And he's <laughs> chasing after you. And then the it ring. started getting dark. No! And I was losing my mind because, I mean, these hikes are just... That's how you die. Serious. Like, no one's coming to look for you. It's always enter at your own risk, hike at your own risk. No one's checking on you. No one cares. Gotta say, your Instagram looked the opposite of that. It, it's beautiful. I mean, it was beautiful <laughs> the whole time. But also this. My hair was around my face, and it all froze. And I was so angry. And in my, my hair was, like, blue by the end. And I looked so angry and scary. And if anyone walked past us, I think they might have thought I was frozen up there for 30 years. <laughs> You're like a white walker. Yes. So Ryan smartly decided to do it to in wait. the cabin. Yes. And yeah. you were you were shocked. I was shocked. But you knew. Thank you. Yes. Oh, the truth comes out, doesn't it, Dara? Yeah. yeah. Well, I didn't know when it would happen. But Ryan texted me from the ring store to see to check in on ring choices. Mm -hmm. And I didn't want to like bug him about when he was going to ask you. Did you think it wasn't happening? Yeah. Mm. Well, cause you were texting me and I wasn't getting any real like engagement feedback. None to be exact. Right. <laughs> so I was confused. I well, that's I all true. I, I figured he had one leg in one leg out too. Wow. Yeah. But wow. congratulations, Betsy. That's really exciting. Thanks, Sarah. Can't wait to hear all about the wedding planning on the pod. <laughs> oh, you will, honey. <laughs> so now is the time in every person's life when we get to read other people's duns. Other people's duns, not mine, not yours. Other people's duns, not mine, not yours. Okay, no, no. Rattly Rat says people coughing and blowing their nose, which is like me. Rude. Me. Okay. Um. Nathaniel's done with wine that has 12% alcohol content and lower henny. Might as well drink that H2O. What should it be? 12.5 and up? I actually have no idea. I remember in college spinning the bottles and going with the highest one. I think it's, I think it's, I guess it is 12.5 if you remember that. Um, Scott's done with going to birthday parties for people in their 30s and I want to hear what you have to say about that. Whoa. I, I'm good for a 30th. I'll go to a 30th. Okay. Anything beyond that, I hope it's a nice dinner party. That they pay for. That they make. Oh. Or pay for. Yeah. Oh, I can't wait to get to the level where all of my friends are paying for their own birthday dinner. No, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. That, that's nice. That's nice. Yeah. And like private jets and shit. Yeah. <laughs> Vegas strippers, yeah. drugs, coke. A man <laughs> sitting on my face the whole way to Vegas. Mmm, smells good. A Chippendales dancer. All to your <laughs> <Yeah>. own. <laughs> There could be nothing worse than like a Chippendales man like talking to you. You could get seriously sick just from sni sniffing inside of that butt. <laughs> okay, um, Josh is done with sand sandwich places without clearly marked areas to order, pick up, and pay. Offensive. Well, that is New York. And it's everyone's mad at each other. No one knows where to go. And if you ask someone if they're in line, they go, no. And then you're like, fuck you. Yeah, then what the hell were you doing, guy? <laughs> Amy's done with pens that run out of ink before I lose them. What the fuck? 
Oh, well, that that's good. You didn't lose it, and you got to use it all. Maggie's done with the movie Bird Box. Never saw. I saw the memes. I'm done with it, too. Is it good? Yes. <laughs> oh, really? It's good while you're watching it, but dumb after you finish it. Okay, I'm in. Um, mm-hmm. Bailey's done with hashtag set life photos and stories, which I completely agree. Those are, like, photos from, like, our friends who book and making us gel. If, if someone does set life... You know they're not doing well. <laughs> um, Scott is done with people asking me if I've seen new movies when they know I have two kids at home. Ooh. Burn, bitch. Um, someone's done. Oh, Sydney Lou is done with, quote, not liking small dogs, which, honey, I totally agree with. Like, that's your choice to just, like, choose a dog size that you don't like. Oh, look, when when you see somebody with a small dog, I mean, not your small, Dara. You have, like, a medium dog. I'm talking extra small. Those hearts are so small. Yeah, I guess I also. They're don't a ticking like small. time bomb. Yeah, those are ticking time bombs. You and they look sick. Those. Yeah. Their eyeballs are falling out. You could okay. like see them being genetically modified. Yeah, I don't like it. Like you can picture it. Um, Rachel's done with people who say hella or hecka. Just no. <laughs> oh my god. Hecka's She's, cool. <laughs> if you say hella, you're wrong. But if you hecka? say hecka, you're going to hell. <laughs> it's really wrong. Right. Um Oh, wait. Okay. I have one more. Hold on. She was at the show. We got to read it. Um, I can do another one from Sydney. She's done with Uber drivers who are having a whisper conversation into their headphones while you're in the car. I see. Oh. Better than a non-whisper conversation. You yell at them. Me? Yeah. What? You're like, get off your phone. We're in the car. Wait. Are you saying I've done that? Yeah. Well, the guy who is texting. Basically, if you're texting while driving me, I will backseat drive your ass <laughs> to, hell. to hell. Do like I'm not here to die. I'm here to go somewhere. Um, <clears throat> Sam is done with people over the age of 50 having the ringer on their cell phones turned up all the way and then taking their sweet time to answer the phone when while it continues to ring at full. It's volume. an epidemic. That's what I think to and guess what it's still ringing because their old asses can't find it right has anyone seen my phone <laughs> yeah it's an epidemic and it's a public health crisis and and like i always say that'll be me tomorrow yeah I hopefully me wait, really quickly on that note i did see in florida a senior living facility that actually started at 50 years old and i thought that's for me and Betsy. Yes. We can get Tara in there. <laughs> me. I would happily leave your husband and my fiance <laughs> to go live in that community. They're the only community that could ever understand us and our body issues. <laughs> yeah. Swollen feet, gas. But also I should mention the I don't have any bathing suits, so I bought one in Target in Florida. And they have lots of options. I went with like a full body jumpsuit and it was the best decision I've ever made. It was like 1920s, like covered me. From, yeah, like, like 20s neck swim to like above my knee. And it was amazing. I bet it was hot though. Like you were sweating. But then you want to go in the pool. Okay. And your ass look, is covered look, and you, you feel solved great. it. You solved it. Um, thank you for submitting your duns. You can send us more at, at Dunpod or personal Instagrams, whatever. We love hearing from you. And thank you. And now it's time for our little guest. The moment we've all been waiting for. You know her. You love her. She's the co-host of Seek Treatment on this very network, Forever Dog. Give it up for (laughs) Kat Cohen. Hello. Hi, Kat. Oh, my God. How are you? Kat, thank you for being here. Well, I just had a moment where I was like, "Do do I smell bad? So I just went in. But I don't think it's me. I don't, oh, it might it be me. me. No, no, I don't. I don't. I don't oh, think it's a Emma's person. Emma's pointing at herself. It's her. We're all pointing. No, at no, ourselves. no, no, no. You're, you're, you guys are all perfect. Um, wow. wait. I want to know about your body issues. What are you talking about? Oh, oh my feet are always swollen and okay. falling. I have the widest feet that have ever been invented. Well, that's I don't body for a second. But I, yeah. I also no, help her feet. feet into it. My, <laughs> no, no, my feet don't fit in normal shoes. I have to wear wide shoes. Okay, addicted. And it just, my feet hurt because I'm a server and I'm on oh, cement all the time. that's why, that's why. So they're just always swollen and I have to like rinse them underwater a lot. Wow, swollen feet. What else, what else we got going on? I guess. Oh, are your body issues like internal body? Oh, oh tell Kat about, 
Whatever oh, well, you say, I'm going to think I have it. Yeah. There's a new development. So I started using Rodan and Fields like eyelash serum to grow out my eyelashes. What is that? It's like a serum that like grows out your eyelashes. I'm listening. And it's a pyramid scheme and don't buy it. And okay. And it's really expensive. It's a pyramid scheme that Dara bought on Amazon. <laughs> okay, obsessed. <laughs> and like I, I never like told anyone this, but like when I got it, I like gingerly opened it mm-hmm. and like put it in its like little place <laughs> and like I, I like kept it in a special container and like uh-huh. it was like my little thing. How much is it? Like 150 something dollars. Oh, which is why I like <laughs> treated it like an It had a bedtime. Right? It had a yeah. bedtime. <laughs> I, I, I have to get home from my Rodan and Fields. <laughs> oh my God. Um, and so I was using it and my lashes were growing, but so was hair under my eye. No. Yes. No. And on fur. my eye. And on my eye. No. Like fur. Hair on your <laughs> eyes. And honey, I'm used to having like unwanted hair. This was tragically haunting and scary. Wait, for that's me. so funny. Can I? Is it still there? It's actually fallen out, and I I've always had like baby hairs here, but this oh, was like in my no, like, right under. They my They said eye. it couldn't be done. Like and you where didn't. hair will Shh. never grow. That is a tree like grows a, under my eyes. under your eyes. Panda. Wait, but new development that I haven't shared yet. Now. <laughs> It's like, be careful what you wish for. Now my eyelashes on one eye are straight. One eye. Mm-hmm. So I'm thinking of doing a Groupon for eyelash extensions. We need something. <laughs> I feel like maybe. Don't, I feel like maybe let those. it let it lie. I you know what quit. else is straight on me? Your pubes. Ew. <laughs> no, wait. Always. I know. You straighten no. them with a mini straightener. <laughs> I've seen it. <laughs> Mine. I don't know what. Ha- I think it's from shaving years ago, and for years at a time, they're like. So for me, it's like once they they're curly, and then once they get to a certain point, they like go straight. Like when, when they're really long, it all of a sudden have like bangs. <laughs> like my, <laughs> my pussy has bangs. Wait, but don't aren't you always Brazil? No, Brazil in summer. What? What about win- what happens in winter? Nothing. You in winter you let it grow and you cut uh, it with scissors because no. it's just straight hair being. Wait, so, so then, you let it grow in the wind. And then oh, you yeah. complain about how it hurts. You yeah, pat it, your my, vagina. Yeah. Hurts. Yeah. When it because grows. Because I wear underwear. Uh, because I wear underwear. I don't. And it shoves. It, it does this with their hair. Mm-hmm. And this is how ingrown hairs mm-hmm. happen. My hair goes straight. Mm-hmm. The underwear pushes yep. it back yep. into my skin. You don't have to tell me. I've been through it all. <laughs> I've been through hell. So, I've been to hell and back. Is that why you don't wear underwear? I don't wear underwear because I'm just like. I feels like there's. I'm just like, just let me. <sighs> I'm the opposite. Put me like in a I'm, wetsuit all me day. Me too. No, like I, if I'm putting like I'm putting on pants, I'm just, I just want to like be in the pants. I don't want like chunky. Like they, they always go up my ass. But aren't you scared to like leave something this? in your- my discharge? Mm, whatever. I think there's two types of women. Usually it's like one is my like face. not scared of discharge and one is very scared of discharge. I love discharge. When I have discharge, I'm like, it's all working. It's all I I have so, so many problems with my puss. Like I have a use right now that like won't quit. Are you wearing underwear? No, but I'm wearing these like leggings that okay. are like kind of like tights. <laughs> Maybe this is part of the problem, Kat. No, it's because it, it hasn't happened before. Oh, okay. And I've been okay. doing. I've been, I've been. I've been this way for a long time. Okay. It was like before Born I even knew way. about podcasts. What about you? <laughs> Do you keep it at ne- uh, empty or full? Oh, either both. Everything. Mm-hmm. It depends on like how much time I have to get to a wax. Went to a wax. Went to your people, Beth. Well, you went to a wax because you were about to be in a bathing suit. Neither of us are going to a wax a bathing frequently. Suit, a bathing suit I fucking suit had one. Of my oh, I had one wax that ruined my entire life. Why? I had so many ingrown hairs afterwards that I couldn't fuck for like three months. Oh. Because they wouldn't heal, and it was just like every. I only could have sex from behind. Oh. Because <laughs> if I was on, it was painful. Yes. Oh my because god. Because of the ingrown hairs. Dara, how was your experience at European Wax Center? She. They try to upsell you a lot, and she like. That was trying what? to she was like you oh gotta, yeah i know i know like, you have packages. to condition your pubes no, more and i was like babe. i'm never conditioning my pubes like you have to let this lie you have to let, let me leave go. and she's holding the door shut and like, i'm done with that <laughs> <laughs> i'm done with that i'm done with it honey <laughs> <laughs> that's psycho though wait i stop the music <clears throat> we need to hear more about the engagement honey paint a picture i was laying in bed there i was my eyes. I what day of the trip them. is it? What day of the trip is it? How what long state you was your third pubic hair? Third oh, day of the trip. Babe. So you're deep. You're sort of in this trip. I'm in the trip. Of a four day trip. I live here. You live in the trip. By the way, she scammed my ass on Airbnb, but whatever. Um, I hate that. I wake up and I said to Ryan, because my body's so sore from two days of serious hikes. Mm-hmm. Ryan, I don't want to go for a hike today. He said, okay. And apparently he had planned on doing it that day on a hike. <gasps> So he comes back in the room 
And then he's in the bed, and we're just laying and chatting. And then he gives a speech, and I got scared because I didn't know what was happening. Oh my god! Oh my god! And then well, how did his it start? heart was like, Drrr. how did it like, start? Oh. How did it start? And then I go, what? I don't remember. <gasps> I don't remember. Did you black out? Yeah, totally. Mm-hmm. I was like, wait. Oh my god! I go, wait, what? <laughs> no, I was like so confused. And then I saw his little hands holding a little box, and I couldn't believe oh it. Oh my god! It was too sweet. You were just laying down. I never had to move, and I go. I've done it. I trapped him. I never have to move. <laughs> so what? How did he? How did he finally say it? The big moment. And then he said, "Will you marry me?" He oh. said, "Betsy, will you marry me?" <gasps> and I said, "Of course, I'll marry you." And then I'm I think cr- I said, "I'll marry you every day." I was like, "Well, that's not possible." I'm gonna start crying. <laughs> so sweet, it was very sweet. I don't know where he hid the box I this whole time. Guys. So under a scrotum. <laughs> uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah, I think it was. Can I yeah. ask, when did you know in your relationship that you wanted to marry him? <laughs> when did I know I wanted to marry Ryan? Oh, well, we both point to, like, a couple months after we started dating, there was this one day where we had to run errands, and we couldn't stop laughing, like, Aww. furiously laughing like maniacs over the dumbest stuff. And I have still, like, all of the photos from that day, and we tried to take a nap, but we couldn't because we were laughing about the whole day. But I think I was laughing because I was like, I love him. (laughs) I don't really know. I think we both now remember that day, but we've never talked about it. I don't know that I wanted to marry him. I never knew I wanted to get married. Mm -hmm. I never was like, and then I'll be the bride. Right. So I don't feel like, um, I don't feel like I'm a bride and here it all is. I just feel happy that it's with Ryan and I don't really know anything else. Do you want to have kids? Um, can't afford. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But do you? Maybe. Yeah. I feel sad about bringing a kid into this world and being like, here you go, kid, deal with it. I know. Um, do but you yeah, want- I do want to have kids. I think I'm uh, born to be a mummy. You I'm def- really good you with You definitely kids. are born to be a mom. I know. I want you to be my mom. I know I have a perfect mom, but I, I'm like, I'll take more. <laughs> I'll take another one. I'll take another one. Wait, Dara do you want to kids? be a mummy? Um, I'm sorry, what was the question? Do you want cows? Yeah. A bench. Oh my god. Do you? I don't know. I think about it all the time. You'll know when you know. It's okay. No rush. I can't even think about ever getting married. I can't even think about. I well, I just got out of a long term relationship, so the thought of being in another relationship mm-hmm. is psycho to me. But as my dad says, you're never ready for whatever the big thing is that's happening to you. So <gasps> you have to like elaborate. I got. I just got full body chills. There's. He didn't say anything else. Me too. <laughs> That's kind of it, but you're it's never good, ready for the big thing that's happening to like you. Like you'll never have enough money, you'll never have enough space, mm. you'll never have enough nothing will ever be perfect. Mm-hmm. So like if if that's like what you're thinking about that's stopping you from doing something oh, that's so nice. that you want to do. It's oh, true. Daryl always says that to me and it makes me feel better. I think I'm like saying it out loud to myself. To I like it. that advice a lot. It's like mm-hmm. how I ended up in the West Village. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> I said, I'm going to make it work. We'll do a year. We'll make it work. A hundred percent. So excited about the Westville for you. I feel so alive. I feel so fresh. I feel so new. To have my own space and living alone for the first time is... Unbelievable. Pure bliss. I mean, and I'm keeping... I'm just... I'm at the beginning of, a, of the stage where I was like, you're still keeping it clean. You're still excited. You're not... Ta- I'm trying to never take it for granted. But How long did you live with someone else for? I lived with Steven for two and a half years out of our three-year relationship. We moved in right away because I on was the evicted. highway. We lived on the highway. It was complete hell. Every minute of it was horrible. No, living with him was great, but I'm saying the apartment was, we could touch the cars on the BQE and the whole house would rattle and it was so loud and it was a studio. It wasn't even, there was no bedroom. There Is was no the living room. same building as Mary? Lynn? Sort of. It's like attached. It's with that pizza place. Yep. Uh, I love them. Oh, and then you moved to Crown Heights. Then I moved to Crown Heights, and we had a really nice apartment in Crown Heights. But it was so far that I was like, if I'm on the train, my entire life's the train. I'm Mm -hmm. so done with the train. Oh, (gasps) I'm done, honey. (laughs) That's why I'm done. We gotta know what your duns actually are. So hit us with your first done, Kat. My first done is (laughs) little water bottles. Okay, here's what's happening. You go, you go, you go to a meeting. You go somewhere. They hand you the little chunky one that's about the size of a fist. That's one sip, bitch. You need help. I'm done with the little water bottles. I a huge part of my life is trying to hydrate. A huge part of trying to hydrate. Okay, <laughs> hydration is so important to me. If you're hydrated, everything works. You shit, you sing, you're amazing. If you hydrate, but how can I hydrate with a little fist? It's a waste of plast. It's like give me the whole deal. I keep a 1.5 liter bottle in my house and I fill it up and I try and drink it every morning before I go to this whatever. I where the fuck do I go all day? You drink a one and a half hour office. Like before I go to school. <laughs> I call it my life is school. Like a plastic <laughs> bottle, like Coke, that like 
Something I like ha- that. what I'll do is and this is I know this is not good, but what I do is like every few weeks I'll buy like a giant Evian bottle and just reuse it for a few weeks and then toss it. Yeah, don't do that. Good. Oh, don't. No, do it's that. not good. But the that's thing bad. is, water bottles they're too small. No, they make huge ones at REI. Go get one that you keep in your house. But then here's another thing: heavy. They start to smell weird, no. but then you wash them and they taste like soap. I'm gonna. Do you know what I'm you. saying? No. When you wash them, they smell like soap. Honey, I've done the research. This one is amazing. Does and they smell like soap? gigantic ones. Are you lying? I'm not lying. Will you send me a link? Yes. Okay, I'm, I'm open to changing my lifestyle. <laughs> I'm, okay. I'm done I'm with my lifestyle. Okay, but I'm naughty, naughty, naughty. I'm okay, done. These tiny water <laughs> bottles, I will say this. Okay, I wait. hate them too because I think they're very wasteful. They're horrible. And I hate when people take one sip out of that tiny water mm-hmm. bottle. Just drink the whole thing while you have it in your hand. That's my family. That that was my whole vacation. Tiny water bottles uh-huh. left around. <laughs> I'm left chugging around. all of them. Yep, I do that. Like in this group, relatively, like I'm the worst about thinking about plastic. In my family, no, I'm, probably I'm the bearing worst. that weight for Me everyone. too. Me too. Bearing, I'm carrying. Yeah. <clears throat> and <clears throat> it's stressful. Yeah. It's totally stressful. Can I tell you where I like a little water bottle? Mm, not ready. In my derm's office, like in the waiting room. I'm no. just like, this is exactly the size that I want. <laughs> no. When I was going weekly to my derm to get collagen shots and to cystic pimples, those were waiting for me every wow, time. Wow, you have such good no, skin. Cortisone. Is that why? Cortisone. <laughs> Cortisone shots. My skin goes like in w- crazy waves, peaks and valleys. She said. Are you a skincare? Are you a skincare? Mm-hmm. The podcast is skincare. It is. <laughs> They've heard all I about our ups and downs and stuff. Oh, so I have naturally like really good skin. Yeah, oh, yeah. I was so... telling you. Remember when I saw you last and like I was having yeah. a really bad skin moment and you were having a good skin moment? I was like sexualizing your skin. Where was that? Um, at that audition. Oh. We go on so many. It's a blur. <laughs> oh, that yeah. was a while ago. I know. My God, time flies. But and that type skin's of still good. Yeah. Yours well, is your bad. skin is great. It's the one thing I have going. It's that's like That's so not true. That's Kat. true. Actually, I'm amazing. But um my sk- I've been lucky with skin. <laughs> that's so lucky. I was always chubby but with cute skin. <laughs> you can't win them all. But I'm trying to get into skin now. So I like went to my dermatologist like what and she gave me like a few things to try. So now I'm now I'm trying to do a routine. Did she but, give you a retinoid? Yeah. But speaking of hydration, like if you already have good skin, like keeping it hydrated is the best thing you can do. I mostly hydrate so that my vocal cords are cute, which me and Bets can talk about all day. Mm -hmm. And second reason is because it makes me poop. Hydrating? (laughs) You have no idea. Can I say something though? (laughs) You have no idea how good it is for you. Hydrating doesn't do shit for me. I don't believe you. No, I am I know I'm like I, I will tell Derek, people to hydrate. You're not drinking enough hydrating. No, 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 no. You're not I, hydrating enough. When I'm dehydrated, I feel like that's kind of when I glow and like <laughs> I'm like thoughts you come. Don't. I can poop no matter what. No matter what oh, state of hydration please. I'm at. I'm pooping in my thoughts. I can't sometimes I go <laughs> sometimes I go a while without anything coming out and I'm feeling kind of heavy. And then I do and then I feel like I'm in an amazing mood. Wow. Well, Dara I think hydrating is only good for your bod. It's true. No, I know, and I'll preach that, but I just feel like sometimes it's not real for me. Like, I don't feel its effects. Can I ask you guys, like, where do you go online when you're like, I want to read some, like, articles? (laughs) Do you know what I mean? Like, where do you get your info on, like, skin and water? Oh, well, my friends will often send me Reddit chains, but also the... I'm going to tell you the Not website. Let me tell you one now. thing. I refuse to know about Reddit and I don't want to know what it is. I want to know, but I don't know. This one website, mm-hmm. The Beauty Editor. Okay, I'm writing she this down. She is amazing. The Beauty Editor? Do you agree, Dar? I agree, but the regimen that I got from her, like, once in a while will accidentally give me, like, a chemical appeal. The <laughs> Beauty Editor. Did I tell you I ordered a couch? Whoa. Okay. Are you addict? From where? Article. <gasps> Everyone does. Do we like that? Yeah. They make it easy. I was like, sure, I could go and do this, but it's like they have them in stock and mm-hmm. all dr- there's no drama. Totally. The beauty editor, I don't see it. It's called the skincare edit. Oh, here it is. The skincare beauty edit. edit. No? It's this. She's, um, is that her? I can't tell. I'll send you it. Skincare she, edit. She's amazing. She's Canadian. <clears throat> she will answer your email within five minutes. I don't think no. that's her. That's not her. Okay, you it's guys much better. That's Cuter. funny you say that because I've emailed her and she never got back to really? me. Really? Yeah. She says, reply to this uh, email chain if yeah. you have questions. And I, I did, did. And she re- replied in five minutes. 
She probably like Googled each of us and then decided who she wanted. I to was like, hey, to. does this go before the? I was like, does this oil go first or does this oil go first? Just because I was like, I'm confused because oils are yeah, I know. Layering is Wait, what is the oil? What is the order? oil goes last because it's like someone told me to seal the oil under a, a lotion. If you can. A, you I've been doing both. that in the winter. Let me ask you this: How does this sound for you guys? Toner, mm-hmm. retinoid. That was called mm-hmm. retinol. Oil. No oil. Nothing if you're using retinol. If you just started using, you should use it by itself. Um, what? I know. For how long? I've been using it for a while, but not every day. Like six months. Nothing after retinol? I think you Because can. it's winter, you can do a hydrating oil or a... Yeah. I wouldn't do a moisturizer on top so of So just it. toner, retinoid oil. I know. I, I think so. I don't really know. Usually, like, I have really sensitive sp- skin, so anything with a really strong active, I, like, don't mix with anything. So I wouldn't mix, like, toner with retinoid. Same. But if it's working, you're fine. It hasn't done anything bad. I have dry skin. Yeah. So do a squalane. Ugh. What's that? It's, it's like, what I have on. That's why my face is so shiny. It's, like, really neutral. It, like, it, it just... A what? It's a really good oil. It's a hydrating oil. Squalane? So it's a moisturize squalene oil. Squalane. So it's that's what you use instead of a moisturizer. I need you to text me that. Yeah. I'll squalane. Everything. Squalane. Okay. Yeah. I'm done. I'm done with snow. It feels amazing. Okay, Kat, what's the second thing you're done with? Okay. Give it to us straight. Well, what we're t- trying to bring up what we we're talking about earlier, I'm done with people telling me to freeze my eggs. Wow. A lot of people come up to me, they say, Freeze your eggs. When are you gonna freeze your eggs? I say, I don't know if I want kids. Even if I do, it's very invasive. It's very expensive. Number three, why are you talking to me about this? Like, for, like, let me live. Who's who's suggesting this to you? Yeah. A woman I met at an Oscars party, <laughs> a friend's mother, um, uh, people in the industry, um, Wait, people so outside of the industry, family, friends. Why? I think people know that I'm on my personal rocket ship to success. Mm-hmm. And I'm, guide- I'm guiding myself to the stars, mm-hmm. to the moon even. And they say, so exciting, but, but but make sure to freeze your eggs because you don't, because I always say, oh, I don't want to get, I'm like, I'm like, oh, maybe in 10 years, like I'm married, maybe in 10. And they're like, well, I'll make sure you're, I already have problems with my, my stuff. Like I have PCOS, mm-hmm. polycystic ovarian syndrome. My doctor's like, it might be hard. I'm like, okay, rock and roll. <laughs> Do you um, follow Lee from America? Yeah. Oh yeah. We talked about <laughs> But I think I unfollowed her because it was pissing me off. Do you have yeah. a gyno you like? She's Okay. I love mine. And mine gave me amazing advice about this. Really? I was really stressed about wait, this. Can, yeah, wait, I didn't know she you gave you advice. This? Yeah. So I'm 31, almost 32. And so like for Same. me and my wait, head, Wait, what are y'all like signs? Aries. Scorpio. Oh my God. I'm Aries rising, aren't I? I don't remember. Fire. Fire. The guy I'm seeing is Aries. What are you? Leo. You're Aries? I'm Leo. Oh, of course. The, the guy Leo. I'm seeing is Aries. Oh my God. I'm, that's. What's your husband? Um, Libra. Oh, hot. No, I'm Libra rising. That's you're a Scorp. Choose one. I Are you, don't know. Okay, you're a little Libra sex water freak. or air? I'm Libra's air. Libra's air. What's Rye? Cancer. He's cancer. so cancer. He's like the most cancer of anyone I know. He invented it. I know a lot of cancer. My, my, my brothers and my dad are cancers. No, Pisces, whatever, water. So is Rye's mom. Um, so your doctor says. Um, just really quickly. So I'm an Aries. Lincoln's a Libra. And my mom's a Libra. My dad's an Aries. <laughs> oh, so cute. I just wanted to share that really quickly. Oh. Uh. But, do you guys have any Leos in your life besides me? We had a fake, we had a false Leo. Yeah. Devin Bockrath was a Leo until she found out she was a cancer and yeah. it changed her <gasps> whole no way. fucking life. That would change. Yeah. We got, she seems very Leo. We had an <laughs> She's astrologist. Really cancer. We had an astrologist come to my house and we had Annie and Devin over and she told Wait. everyone signs. Oh my God. That sounds so fun. When did you do that? October. How did you find the astral? Kiki. Kiki O'Keefe. We'll intro you. What's Kiki? You'll shit yourself. Her, Her name. name. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff you're going to have to text me. <laughs> I really think you guys are really wise and I really trust <laughs> you. And I all we you. talk about is skincare and Kiki. <laughs> no, 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 no. You guys, like, it's like, if, if I had a pro- if I had a question about, like, interior design, Betsy. fashion, mm-hmm. Betsy. cooking, Me. home. Betsy. Betsy. I feel like I could, I, I would trust anything you, either of you said as scripture. Thanks, Kat. Thanks, Kat. I feel like you're very, you, you're very good, like, homemakers and you're, you've seemed very, like, settled and it's like how we've trapped powerful. powerful do you know powerful. what i mean yes like confident and like <laughs> together wait 
Yes. You guys are very like together. Like you're wearing this gorgeous blouse. I'm like farting out of my ass and Betsy's I'm wearing like, pajamas. Pajamas. <laughs> at least it's coming out the ass. Okay. So thank, you, thank you for the compliments. Whatever. Um, Whatever. I'm done. Oh my God. <laughs> so the gyno thing. I love my gyno. I will text you her number. She is life changing. Yeah. And she's in Manhattan. I'm getting so many exciting texts. We'll what, send you a PDF. Yeah. What's her deal? <laughs> because we send it to everyone after the show. Her deal, rides a bike from Brooklyn to her office. I don't know if I like that for my guy. No, you want it. You I want don't. it. She doesn't have like nurses that it. set you up. She has nurses there. But like she sets you up and then she talks. She has like 30 minutes to talk with you. Oh, okay. Like, Mine, and I'm always like, am I out. dying? And she's like, no, I just want to see what's going on in your life. So I was like, okay, I like think I want to freeze my eggs and I want to do it tomorrow. And she's like, hold on, sister. And she's she's just like. The technology and the science behind it is changing really quickly. Mm-hmm. So, like, the longer you can wait to do it, the, is smarter oh. for your body. Oh, interesting. So, like, check in at 35. Whoa. Yeah. I mean, talk to your doctor, obviously. But, like, for me, it's like, okay, I'm not I'm not going to check in about this again because it is invasive and it's really expensive, uh-huh. especially if you have, like, whatever going on. Yeah. And you don't want to, like, mess with it more. Um, You don't have to, like, pressure yourself to do that. And even she was telling me the unfreezing of the eggs Mm -hmm. is getting more like there's a lot of technology around that. Like it's not that great right now. So you might as well just wait. I've heard. Yeah. I was freaking out about this. My friend told me she was like, it's actually not that. Oh, she has such a good reason why it's like you don't need to do it right now. I get if like it is all consuming to you. And if it if you have the money, if you are okay with having the procedures and doing the hormones and whatever. And it takes it gives peace you of that mind. peace of mind. Yeah. Because like. But as someone who I, I'm not even sure I do. Well, it's like I say that. But then if I think of not having them, I get sad. But you would be sad if you knew you froze your eggs and you're like, I don't want them anymore. Well, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, that's good to know. Yeah. yeah. I, have, I have some time. Buying it was my such time. a relief knowing that I didn't have to do that immediately. That's good. That's yeah. great, Dara. I didn't and also, know she's like, I had my first kid at 40. And I was like, God bless you. OK, like, she's a queen. Yeah. Take care of your boss. I know. Also, life's crazy. Dr. Ottenheimer. I love okay. mine, too. I'll okay, great. You. Yeah, please. Um, it's so Wait, important. now it's a competition. <laughs> no, I need mine a good, I need a good like endo- a network of women. I've never had the same mm. one twice, but they're all so I need cool. an endocrinologist <clears throat> if anyone has either one of those. It's for, that? It's for hormones. Oh. No, but have have people we can we'll ask. connect with. Because I had, I had one that I liked, and then she left, and the replacement woman was a disaster and was just like I was like when I went into the office there was no air conditioning and I was like I was like getting my blood drawn in like 100 degree heat and I was oh like, my god I would not wrong. be able to do that I was like this feels bad they're like the blood's gone bad but we're oh my gonna god. send oh my it god. out anyway the blood is this boiling. for PTOS you need an endocrinologist mm-hmm. yeah hey guys we're gonna take a quick break to talk to you about our new sponsor better health what's standing between you and happiness Is it you? Are your own feelings a roadblock preventing you from achieving your goals? Have you thought about talking to someone but are uncertain or unsure of where to start? BetterHelp.com is online counseling that's there for you. BetterHelp makes it easy to connect with licensed professional counselors, caring professionals who specialize in the issues that you want to talk about. Depression, stress and anxiety, trauma, grief, self-esteem, and other things. Connect with your counselor in a safe and private environment. Get help at your own time and at your own pace. You can schedule secure video and phone sessions or text your therapist, all included worldwide, and you can start communicating in under 24 hours. Best of all, it's a truly affordable option. And for done listeners, you get 10% off your first month with discount code done. And if you've been wanting to talk, get started today. Go to betterhelp.com slash done. Just simply fill out the questionnaire to help them assess your needs and you'll get matched with a counselor you'll love. And also, if you don't, you can always change that. That's betterhelp.com slash done. Promo code done. Okay, Kat, what's the third thing you're done with? Third thing I'm done with is the reason why I'm not, I had a migraine this morning and I've been like riding this adrenaline high and now mm-hmm. I'm about to crash. That's but okay. It's okay. It's good. It's good. Um, third thing I'm done with is <laughs> when you tell people you like baths and they say, oh, so you're just soaking in your own filth. I'm like, can you get a fucking life? Baths invented you. Baths were before 
the moon, the sun, the stars, there people were taking baths. Okay, <laughs> baths are a huge part of my life. Hot, sometimes I go into hot water, and they don't even soap. I, it's like a Xanax. It's like it is the most soothing, calming. It's 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 massively important to me. And it, soaking in my own filth, there's filth everywhere. Grow up. Have you had your charts read? <laughs> I think I have an app that did it. No, because I'm wondering, and I, I just I'm just wondering. You got to have some water signs in there. Do you know what I have a lot of? <laughs> I have a shit ton of Virgo. Not a water. Is that water? The what water carrier. Virgo? Yeah. Is Virgo water? I think so. Let's find out because Virgo means you're a psycho, anal, retentive, organized bitch who's type A and, and a perfectionist. Yeah. Who's probably going to end up an old maid. Um, Is it? I love baths. It's earth. It's earth. Oh, never mind. It's earth. I don't know what I'm talking about. But I like where you're going. I just think some you we should check that out. Betsy yeah. loves baths. Mm-hmm. I love. I love it. I'm me. obsessed. My bath is not even that is not cute, but I bleach mm-hmm. it all the time and I just lay in there forever. Mm-hmm. And sometimes even when I just have to wash my face, I'll get a bath because it feels nice. Mm-hmm. It's like a little hug. But my water gets cold really fast, so I have to fill it and then just lay in a very shallow, a little shallow bit of water sometimes. And that's okay with me. That, I know that breaks my heart. But I just love them. I'll take one twice a day if I could. I know. I'm not a bath person because if I'm in water, I will need to pee in it. And then I am in my own filth. Oh. But there are some situations where the water calls me when I'm like really sick or like mm-hmm. really stressed out. It is so Ugh. nice to take a bath. I know. When I'm home for the holidays, my parents have an amazing clawfoot tub. I take two baths a day. One in the morning, one at night. I want them in the middle of the day, too. Just and like, you're like, free <laughs> hot water. And it, it, the water is so hot, you can't even touch it. And it fills up all the way. And it's oh, just my like, God. I put lavender salts. Do those really do anything? Yes. Same question. And I don't a, have any. It's really nice. My mother-in-law famously takes a quick bath. Mm-hmm. She goes, I'll be right down taking a quick bath. I don't know how that works. Mm-hmm. but wondering I've done it. it. I've done that, too. You just splish, you just splish and you splash and you get out. But then take a shower. No. But then you got to wet your hair. For <laughs> no. me, for me, it's about if my if I curled my hair, I can't get a shower because then it'll get wet. I'm frizzy. I never, I shower like all the, sometimes and I never get my hair wet. I never wash my hair. Yeah, I never wash my hair either. I know, but sometimes I'm like, I just need to take a bath and my hair won't move. If I get in the shower, it goes and like puffs up mm. right away. Anyways, I love them. I love them too. And, and I don't wash my hair when I take baths. I sometimes do, but I usually don't wash my hair ever. Mm-hmm. Okay, in my new apartment on Saturday, the hot water wasn't working, and I was like, "Perfect." And I took it's honestly amazing. I took it was it was fucking freezing outside, and I took an I a true ice. Sho- I was like, "I have to shower." I feel disgusting. I took an ice shower. I thought my heart was gonna stop three mm-hmm. times for other thing, and then I I got out that I hadn't washed my hair, but I really needed to, so I got out of the shower, no. had my hair waving in the shower, and was like rinsing it as though I was like at dry bar but standing. No. And then I was I didn't have a towel because I I got it wet when I was doing that sort of practice <laughs> of sh- washing my hair from outside the shower, and so I had to dry myself with a blow dryer. Oh, I do that every time I shower. Really? Yeah, it's me and my husband both do that. That's weird. It's I love so that. nice. Wait, you no go towel? right. You go under the legs. Oh, I do that. Down the boobs, in the back, and then you're heated and you can go. Wow. Okay, I'm yeah inspired. I have to do that because, as we know, my pubic region looks like a horse's tail. <laughs> you give your pubes a <laughs> blowout. Oh my god, they they go to dry bar. <laughs> <laughs> I have a weird request. <laughs> um, wait, I have a question. We're gonna make I just millions saw. on that. <laughs> What? <laughs> We're going to make on the dry bar for your pukes. <laughs> there was actually at camp one year, like my joke that I told everybody that my was that my uncle was a pubic hairstylist. Mm-hmm. And like it killed. I just it was a lie. Like, it's not really a joke. It's just a lie. Remember, that was like sex in the city when she got the strawberry. Yes. yes. I think about that a lot. I'm, gonna get that. <laughs> I've, I'm back into watching Real night. Housewives of New Jersey. And it starts with like this disgusting co-ed shower scene. And I was wondering what you think of people in baths together like no. Tamara and Eddie oh okay. or like, that's gross I don't watch that show but whenever there's a scene where it's like let's like get in the tub and have Ew. sex I'm like fuck no like it's like here's what I feel here's what I feel like you're not okay if you're in a couple a, this, is, this is so I'm gonna take a of this <laughs> I I don't want to jog with the person I'm fucking I don't want to bathe with the person I'm fucking I don't want to really 
What's another good one? Do anything. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I'm evil. I'm like, get away from me. Uh, yeah. No, I just like like Those exercise and, and cleaning. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. I want that to be like my. It's like, yeah. Can I, have, can I have one second to myself? Oh, I you say? don't want to see them clip their toenails or fingernails. I don't need that. It Lincoln, doesn't, it doesn't gross me out, but like, I don't want to see it. it. Like everywhere, <laughs> every. I turn around the corner, he's doing one foot, another corner, another foot. Brian, too. It's like. I don't know I, where it's coming from. I'll hear it from here. Like, that's how tuned in, <laughs> tuned in I am to that sound. I'm in a place in my life where I am op- I'm saying that I'm never going to live with a lover again. And I'll always have my own apartment. Tilda Swinton style. Is that what she does? In my mind, she keeps all of her lovers, like, on a camp in different cabins. And, like, she I lives like in the that. main house. Well, Somebody else like. says, too, um, who is This Is Halloween, uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. Jamie Lee Curtis? No, the guy who made that movie. Tim Burton? Yeah, Tim Burton and his wife. Oh, uh, Helena. Bell Helena. The Don't they live separate? Do they? I don't know. I Wait, who might. does Tilda partner with? I read the Wikipedia a long time ago, and I don't remember. I'm gonna They're all up. like artists and like I like. Look, in Hollywood, men. everyone lives separate. No one is ever spending time together. It's heartbreaking, but those are the facts. That's perfect for me. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Strap in, honey. <laughs> Buckle um, up. These duns were very great, Kat. You guys. I know they're very close to your heart. Thank you. I, I feel passionate about everything. Well, I know you do. You feel things. But right now, Darren and I mm-hmm. are going to have to discuss your okay. duns. Okay. And then we're going to have to tell you the thing that you have to be done with. That means you're just done with it forever, <laughs> to be honest. Thank you for being honest. <laughs> um, so you have to take your headphones off so you can't hear totally us and you have to plug your ears okay and totally. your butt i'm gonna go i'm gonna put my hat over my oh, ears oh perfect right, right. okay so cat's done with little water bottles yeah what was her second one she's done with emma was oh people one? telling her to freeze her eggs people telling her to freeze her eggs was the second one and the third one was people telling her it's gross to take a bath because you're bathing in your own filth mm-hmm. which one do you think she should be done with well, here's the thing. Mm-hmm. The first one, bad for the environment, but they're not going to stop making them as long as Costco is in charge. Right. Right. Second one. Freezing your eggs. You can just tell people, don't. that's none of your business. No, ma'am. No, ma'am, none of your business. Leave my body alone. <laughs> Three. And go to my gynecologist. <laughs> yeah. Why don't you get the facts straight, honey? Yeah. And then cut the technology's not there yet. Neither Waiting is your out. knowledge, honey. Meet me out back. <laughs> the only thing that's going to hurt you from having kids is this cook, is this kick to your. Holy shit. <laughs> 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 I'm just kidding. That would hurt. This kick um, to your what? You didn't finish that. Hoo ha. Hoo ha. Okay. And the final one is people shaming you for taking baths. And I'm a bath girl. And right. you're not a bath girl. No, I'm there. Okay. I'm getting there. I just pee in it if I'm there. Sometimes I or pee I, in it. Or it gets to like a weird. Okay. Can we cut that? <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. So I think we should tell. I personally think she should be done only because of everything you said. The people telling her to freeze her eggs. Yeah, me too. Really? Easy solution. And I think she should get your water bottle. Oh. And we have, we have a lot to text her. Yeah, we're going to. We're going to post the PDF we send Kat. Yeah. Right. I have gas. I'm sorry. I have so much gas. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, okay. Kat, you can come back. What? Am I back? Yeah. Welcome back, sweetie. Thank you for taking the cans off. Oh, thank you for letting me back in. I missed you guys. We, missed we you. literally <laughs> missed you. We have a lot to go over with you. Okay. So Mostly it'll be in the PDF later. <laughs> Mini water bottles, like, they'll just be thrown at your face and you can okay. swat them away. I deal with going. it. Get Betsy's okay, water okay. bottle. It will be in the PDF. Um, baths, people are always going to be throwing that your way, but you can still just take a bath. Okay. Say, my body's not that dirty. What happens when you take a bath? Yeah. I, I'm oh, not that's good baths. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. So what you should actually be done with is people commenting on you needing to freeze your mm-hmm. eggs because that's insane and not nice and puts you in a weird mental space. Mm-hmm. And you can just say like, don't comment on that. That's okay. like weird for you to comment on. I love that. Cool. Love and. That. Well, in PDF, we'll include both of our gynos and the pros and cons of both of them. The gynos, especially, the skincare, <clears throat> what was the other thing? Water bottle. Mm-hmm. But the, especially the, the when an older person mm-hmm. tries to talk to you about freezing your eggs, 
You can say, I understand your gyno hasn't been having these conversations right. with you. Maybe you're over the age. Um, that is so shady. But <laughs> I've <laughs> talked so to over my the gyno age. about it, and I'm actually good right now. I love that. It is shady, but they deserve. That you deserve. Gorge. Kat, thank you so much for being thank on Thank you guys Dawn. so much. I love you guys so much. Thanks, Kat. This was so much fun. So fun. Listen to Seek Treat Thanks, on babe. the Forever Dog Network. Um, subscribe to our podcast. Review it if you have a secchi poo on the Forever Dog Network. Subscribe on Apple Podcasts. And submit us your duns. Thanks, Dare. Thanks, Bats. Thanks, Emma. Bye. Bye. <coughs> Hey guys, just here to remind you about our brand new, really cool sponsor, BetterHelp.com. What's standing between you and happiness? Is it you? Are your own feelings a roadblock preventing you from achieving your goals? I mean, have you thought about talking to someone, but maybe you're uncertain or unsure of where to start? BetterHelp.com online counseling is there for you. Finding someone to talk to can be really challenging, but BetterHelp makes it easy to connect with licensed professional counselors, caring professionals specializing in the issue that you want to talk with, whether that's depression, stress and anxiety, trauma, grief, self-esteem, anything, whatever you're done with that's totally bothering you. Connect with a counselor in a safe and private environment and get help at your own time at your own pace. And you can schedule secure video and phone sessions or you can text your therapist. All included worldwide and you can start communicating in under 24 hours. Best of all, it's a truly affordable option. And for Done listeners, you get 10% off your first month with discount code DONE. Can you imagine texting your therapist? <clears throat> Amazing. Like I would never have to text you. I would same. <laughs> well, I guess our friendship would be over. If you've been wanting to talk to someone, you can get started today. Just go to betterhelp.com slash done, where you'll fill out a questionnaire to help them assess your needs and get matched with a counselor you'll love. And if you don't love them, you can always change it. That's betterhelp.com slash done. Promo code done. Forever Dog. This has been a Forever Dog production. Done is produced by Brett Boehm, Joe Cilio, Alex Ramsey, and Emma Foley. Music by Brooks Allison. For more original podcasts, please visit foreverdogpodcasts.com and subscribe to our shows on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts. Keep up with the latest Forever Dog news by following us on Twitter and Instagram at Forever Dog Team 